Hello, welcome back to Jet Set Journeys. It's James, Judy and Roger here. And today we're going to Dalmatas Cave, which has anti-aging properties. And apparently it can even cure asthma. So let's see if it really works. <laughs> so we just paid 20 lira each, that is 50 pence. Um, so £1.50 in total, about one, 150 um, euros. So that compares to us paying 10 euros for the three of us in a taxi. Alright, so now we're heading to Dalmatas Cave, which is just off Cleopatra Beach in Alanya, and it's believed to have miraculous healing properties, including being able to reverse aging just by spending a few minutes in there. And apparently if you do spend, say, half an hour in there, it can apparently, apparently... In the cave. <laughs> they say it can cure asthma. So we're going to put it to the test. We'll show you our before and after pictures. So make sure that you stay watching till the end of the video. Very nice area and the cave is just off this beach. Cleopatra Beach is one of the best rated beaches in Alanya. Check out the spikes on this monkey puzzle tree. Very thorny. Even the park benches offer an elevated experience here as they are rocking chairs. So before we go into the cave and experience the age reversing qualities, we're going to do some um, close up videos of our faces and then after being in there for a while, we're going to do it again and then show you side by side to see if there is any difference. Got our money ready for the entrance fee. Can we go in now? <laughs> Thankfully it's a no smoking area. Do not talk loudly, that might be a problem. It is very tempting to touch them, but we'll resist. I hope it is real. You never know in Turkey though, there's a lot of realistic fakes. 
I've never seen so many stalactites. Some of them look quite ghoulish, don't they? They do. Which ones? Over here, like long eyes. Oh yeah, that looks like eyes there, kind of face. Those look almost like people at the bottom. It's like a melted face there. Yeah. Yeah, look at the eyes. One's wide open, one's squinting. And there's a baby one down there. And the stalactites have met the stalact. The big don't you think it looks quite cathedral like? It was. It's amazing. So we're going deeper into the cave. First it was a bit difficult to breathe, but now I don't know if it's just because I'm relaxed, feeling like I can breathe normally. But I came here and I forgot to bring my asthma inhalers with me. And it's probably a bit dusty in Turkey, so I've been coughing loads. So I'm really hoping this will make a difference for the next few days. So I'm back in the UK with my air purifiers and asthma inhalers. Das ist anstrengend, wenn wir uns mit Wand 
Never been anywhere like this before. So low. Just about to stand up in this point. Looks like roots growing on the rock. Just from there. Did you value us? Yeah. I'll just do this. Just do this. Ale on to jest w ogóle ta skała są całe oblepione tymi korzeniami. Big root there. Eh? I tu kapie. Tutaj jest troszeczkę. Większa firma. I'm getting claustrophobic, so I'm going to go out. Oh. Also there could be spiders and all sorts down here. But Definitely worth coming to this section. Humidity must be so high because it's making me sweat. And the rocks glistening, presumably with moisture. photos or videos and see if there is any noticeable noticeable change to our appearance or the way we feel. People were out of breath when they were coming out, but it's kind of hard to breathe. I think it's so humid. Must look at these amazing stalactites. Look at that one. Down here, it's so smooth and alien like. Looks like something out of. E.T. or Alien. So yeah, let's catch up with my parents, see what we all made of it. So we've just come out of the cave. Uh, we were in there for half an hour. Yes. Um, what did you notice about being in there? Well, the, uh, the temperature was 22 degrees. The humidity was 98%. 98%. So 
everything felt slightly damp. Um, and I suppose the 98% humidity is the reason that they claim it's good for asthma sufferers. Well, I've been suffering from asthma for the past few days. I've been coughing a lot. Um, maybe because it's a bit dusty here, but the, also the hotel sprays so much air fresh now. Mm. Really terrible. Um, and I forgot my asthma inhalers. So when I went into the cave, I noticed it was very hard to breathe at first. Mm. Did you feel the same? No, I felt it was very muggy. Mm. And a lot of people were breathing very heavily on the way out. Mm. So I wondered why. So as we sat there and I calmed down a bit, I did start to breathe normally. So we'll have to see in the next day or two if it's made any lasting improvement. But yeah. it certainly does have some physical effect, that is for sure. Um, I think it has a mental effect as well. Um, it was awesome. Nature is awesome. It was like being in a cathedral situation. Incredible and peaceful. Yeah, the humidity was, was a bit overbearing for me, I have to be honest. But wonderful, wonderful experience. There is something I agree about the strange shapes that you've never seen before. Yeah. Um, and maybe there is a mental effect of that, like figuring out what you're looking at. Yeah. Um, yeah, really, really interesting. Would you recommend it? I definitely recommend it. The, the stalactites and the stalagmites are, are, are so huge and they, they meet and you sort of see faces and fingers and monsters. <laughs> thing I, the incredible. thing I find incredible is we're standing now outside the cave entrance. We're on the beach. There's the sea. Yeah. And just 50 metres from the edge of the beach, you're in another world. Mm. Um, that probably most people will not even know about. Absolutely. I bet there, I bet there are 90% of the people sunbathing who don't even know there's a cave nearby. Mm. And it said it was there before Christ. Yeah. 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 Formed. Uh, 10 to 15,000 years before Christ. Yeah, so thanks James, another successful excursion. Yep, yeah, so make sure you do subscribe to the channel. We've got more to show you in the Alanya area and you might also want to check out our recent trip that we made to Portugal if you're thinking of where to visit on your holidays this year. Let us know if you've got any comments, just put them in the, or questions rather, put them in the comments and we shall see you again very soon. Bye for now.